Thank you for watching another review and thanks for coming back to this channel. Before we get started on the unboxing of the Extreme, I do have a very heartfelt message and what is, I guess, some sort of an apology um, to my viewers and to everyone who's helped support this channel. You guys know that I try to give you guys the utmost, most honest review. And because I'm sponsored a lot of the times by the manufacturers, I find it hard to present the negatives and only present the positives. Very easily skimming over the negatives and or not even saying it at all in some situations. So I've partnered with eWheels who gives me a platform to say and present my most honest review about the product that I'm reviewing. And thanks to Jason for giving me this platform. As a reviewer who often gets early production units, especially in the electric unicycle space, I hope that I am just one stage of your next EUC decision or your next EUC purchase. Thank you for watching this video and let's get the unboxing started. This is the Bagoda Extreme. I have my handy knife and you guys will notice that I have my new glasses. These are from Pit Viper. They give me the extra cool look and the 10% increased confidence level that I usually don't have. Let's cut the box. So as usual, Bagod unboxings are not all that interesting. It's just a normal cardboard box. If this isn't your first rodeo, you'll be familiar with it. On the side of the box, I do have this tag that says C40 motor and it's 2,400 watt hours. So this is the 50E version. Most of you guys know what the top of the box looks like. Pretty much just styrofoam. You have your specifications for your extreme and you have your certificate of compliance because this is an export product. This is the charger that comes with your extreme. Very standard charger that we've seen a lot. Pagoda hasn't changed this. This is a cheaper charger, but it does work. Um, and there's not a lot of heat given off this charger, but it's a 134 volt, five amp charger. So this is actually a longer charger that I think comes stock with your master, but um, I don't know what the new masters come with, but this is definitely a longer and a faster charger, but same supplier. So we'll put that aside. Included in the box is obviously also your pump, your geo pump for your air shock, and also a hex tool. I would imagine this would be for your suspension arms or replacing the suspension, but we'll find out. Now we're gonna cut open the box. Now instead of trying to lift the wheel all the way up, we're gonna destroy it. So first off goes the straps. Now this knife may look like it's very sharp. It's actually very mediocre. Like I said, this knife is not the best. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side here. Okay. Let's remove the foam on the top. And we're starting to really see the Bagod for the first time, uh, the Extreme for the first time here. Pretty good packaging. Usually I don't think there's as much foam on the sides. Uh, it's usually like a smaller piece, but definitely more styrofoam with this wheel. And the pads are already attached, so that's good. So pretty much not much you'll have to do. It's a ready to go kind of situation and then your spike pedals. So let's get the wheel out. <sighs> Holy shit, it's heavy. I've never unboxed a wheel this heavy on a table before. <sighs> so that's the Bagoda Extreme out of the box. Let's go over the specs of the new 16 inch wheel from Bagoda. 
Now with any new wheel that is newly unboxed, you'll have to remove it out of transport mode. So with Bagode, turn on the wheel, the power buttons. Wait for the beeping to stop. And then the power buttons are located right here. And that's also your lift switch on the left. So hold down the left switch, hold down the lift switch and then five times on the power button. You hear that long beep and then restart the wheel. And when you lift it up and make sure that it is with it completely vertical, it's balancing. And we're just gonna put this wheel on the EUC stand from Grizzla. Let's talk about this new 16 inch wheel. The reason I have that in quotation marks is because people have categorized this size or this type of wheel in the 16 inch category, even though this wheel will measure up basically close to an 18 inch wheel. There's not really a standardized um, measurement, but if you're comparing this wheel to the other similar ones on the market, you'd be looking at the Commander Mini, you'd be looking at the Patent, you might be looking at the new V14, and even the new 16 inch King Song suspension wheel that will come out later on. But Bigode Extreme, now the motor comes with a 3,500 watt C40 motor. So one of their more powerful motors in their lineup. And this wheel specifically that I have here in front of me is the 2,400 watt hour 50 E cells. Now they also have the 40T. The 40T does have a higher discharge and Actually, in the review, we're going to be diving deep into if there's actually a difference between the 40T and the 50E. I've always gone with the higher capacity uh, wheels, but I know there's a lot of people really, really interested in the higher discharge cells. So we'll find that out in the review, and obviously I'll give you guys the comprehensive review. Going on is, um, oh, also I want to mention that the 40Ts will be a reduced watt hour of 1,900 watt hours. Now, the Bagode Extreme is a 134 volt wheel. So Bagode have claimed that the Bagode Extreme is 130 millimeters of suspension travel. This puts this pretty much close to, or maybe the same as the S22. And it's about 12.5 because there's this metal right here. Now, I think they're probably trying to measure to the bottom of this pad, but you can tell the suspension stops here. So if we take our ruler, 12.5. And obviously uh, you have these O-rings here to help with the cushioning. This wheel does come with also coil shocks. Um, the ones that will be available from E-wheels, I believe will only be the 950 or 900 pound version from DNM. This is let's, DV22AB. Some other retailers may have the 750 pound version, but I'd say if you're probably like going off-roading and you're an average adult weight, the 750 pound one is gonna be way too soft for you. I definitely go with the 900. So you'll see that on the Bagode Extreme, you have these five different screw holes. The reason they're there is because it'll give you an adjustment setting for these pads. Now, you have four screws, one on each corner, on each side of the wheel, and you can adjust it based on the height of however you like to ride. You know, if you're an off-road rider, you probably want it low, clamping down on your feet. But if you're somewhat of a more casual rider, perhaps you want it higher up, easier to leverage the wheel, get more power out of it. But let's have a look at the pad. So you can't really tell, but actually there's plastic inside the pad itself. So these pads are actually 1.5 kilos each. So both sides of the pads add up to a total of three kilograms, which makes the total weight of this wheel 40 kilos. Without the pads, it'll be 37. Now, they've also tried to reduce the weight by digging out these holes here. That's really cool to see. Small details like that matter, you know? What's really cool that I thought is, you might be able to put a speaker in here, additional speakers in here. But that's the pad on the Bagode Extreme. Nice to know that they've still given us a nice flat surface. If you want to put your Grizzlas or your Nyla Noves or your other China pads, whatever it is that you may need. With the Bagoda Extreme turned on, we can actually use the newest app and go into the smart BMS information. And you have every cell pack information, the voltage, 
of every single cell, plus if there's any errors, you can find out all straight through the app. And for the very first time on the Extreme, you'll be able to have something called the, let me find it here, because I'm looking at this backwards, the angle compensation adjustment. So at the stock level, it's about three or four. And if you raise this all the way up to six, or sorry, nine, during a turn, it'll actually compensate you to lift the wheel up. Now, obviously, if you find your wheel acting a bit funny, it's best just to go to the bottom and use the calibration setting and calibrate the gyroscope. But if you still want to fine tune it, you can use that. You also have this additional feature called the uh, rocker adjustment. The rocker adjustment is um, basically your calibration mode. So it'll actually, after you've calibrated your gyroscope, you can force it to lean back or lean forward in whichever way you want. So um, you'll be able to adjust that as well and give you kind of the complete personalized ride feel. Another really cool feature with the Bagoat Extreme is the ability to switch between off-road and racing mode. So as we just unboxed this wheel, it was in off-road mode. We're actually gonna switch over to the racing mode. So if we click on operating mode right here and we click confirm, the wheel will restart by itself and you'll see that it's now toggled into racing mode and just have a listen. It's really, really loud. You can even feel the vibration coming from the motor. Just the raw power surging through the entire wheel. We're gonna switch it back into off-road. So all we gotta do, um, if I can find it, operating mode, click confirm. It restarts again. And have a listen. That's a lot more quiet. You can hardly feel the vibrations. You can hear that it's on, but the vibration is a whole lot less than the race mode. Coming to the rear side of the wheel, we have actually integrated speakers. So a lot of people thought, I didn't even know this, but I initially thought this was just a rear light. This is actually quite nice to look at, but on both sides are two small speakers and we'll connect it later on and test out the audio. So the front headlight of the Bagoda Extreme, if we turn it around here, is powered by the same light that is used on the EX30 now. So you'll actually be able to adjust the front headlight on the Extreme, and you have a little bit of adjustment. So if you want it pointing down or up, it's not the smoothest of interactions, but it does definitely work. Good old push test or the poke test. The trolley handle, same as what's used on the Master and all the other wheels. A little bit wobbly, but kind of gets the job done. Already integrated with the wheel is your seat. Nicely padded. But there are a lot of cool things I want to show you when you connect to the app. So we have to unfortunately um, put this back on. Oh, shit. With all the screws removed, let's remove the top cover and find out if the waterproofing is as good as they say. Wow, have a look at the cover. This is a much better plastic than what we're used to. There's reinforcements in it. The thickness of the plastic, this is a huge improvement. Let's have a look at the controllers. You have the waterproof seal all the way around. Now, with the Master and T4, the early versions, you had this like foam um, but with this, you have basically like the silicone rubber all the way around. And so this is going to do a really good job waterproofing. Do you guys remember like the early versions of the Bagode, what is it, Master, where the screws weren't long enough and you were having to push down on the cover just to, just to install the cover back on? Oh my gosh, that was such a headache. It seems like Bagode has taken a step back. No, that's an issue. And really take the time to develop the past two wheels, the Extreme and the EX30. They've really taken their time to develop this wheel and make sure that things are of a certain quality before they release it out to the public. So you're not gonna get 20 different versions of the Extreme after a few months of it being released. This is the trolley handle for the Extreme, but it's not for you to lift the wheel up. 
you can actually grab onto the speaker or the rear light and then the front right here. And we're gonna do a little spin test. So I'm gonna pop the handle down and let's go. Um, a few things we're gonna hope to answer in the review for you guys is, first off, I'm personally really curious is, is the 40T, the high discharge cells, really a huge improvement over the 50Es? Because I think it is a more expensive wheel. So if you're paying for, you know, a higher grade cell, you want better performance. And we're gonna find out if the controller, if the entire wheel, how waterproof it is, how durable it is, um, and how it compares to other similar wheels on the market, the V14, um, the Patton. I'm probably not gonna compare it to the Commander Mini, not all that interested in that product, um, to be honest, but we will um, find out what the power delivery is like and we'll test out all the new features of the uh, Begode app and give you all of my thoughts and all of my in-depth review of the Begode Extreme in the coming two weeks, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this review and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.